Hello, everyone. I will talk about how we use the Ilnes pipeline to solve a specific problem we faced. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. I'm a certified elastic engineer. I have uh, worked as a senior data and uh, software engineer for many companies. I have speci specialized in using Elasticsearch and other technologies to support companies in solving uh, data-related problems and defining solutions for complex business domains and their architecture. I'm a, uh, also I am a, a Elastic Community Organizer of uh, Turkey User Group. Uh, and also, lastly, France says that's an official branch of uh, Elastic in Turkey. Uh, let's start discussing ways to modify data using different technologies. As you know, there are uh, many different ways to do this, but uh, I will try to mention some of them. The first approach using the custom script or microservices, your, your own microservices for data modification. You can write your custom scripts or uh, your microservice uh, to collect data from different resource and send them to the Elasticsearch. In this scenario, you need to put your data modification logic into, into your script or microservice. This solution works very well, uh, but there is a problem related with the changes on data modification logic. Uh, and you need to be sure you apply same implementation, uh, all different services and in every uh, change on uh, on the logic, you need to deploy them again. The second way uh, I want to mention is using the log stage. You can use log stage to put these data modification logic, and you can you can use the filter inside the log stage. You can collect data with the log stage easily, uh, and this this uh, this scenario also works very well. But you need to build the log stage cluster near the Elasticsearch cluster and you need to manage them separately. You, uh, your data modification logic will be inside the log stage directly. The last uh, scenario I want to mention that using the ingest pipeline, you can use the bees log stage or uh, your own microservice to collect data from the different resources. And you can use the ingest pipeline to modify the data instead of modifying the uh, data into log stage or microservice. You can use your uh, Elasticsearch uh, cluster to manage ingest pipeline, and you don't need to deploy new things while changing your data modification logic too. What is the benefit of uh, ingest pipeline? So we have we have already uh, had microservice on our scenario, collected data from the different resource, uh, and we prefer using the ingest pipeline with these microservices. So what is the benefit using ingest pipeline? when we compare with the other solution. The, we can check one by one the ability to modify data without altering application logic, for example. And also ingest pipeline solution is lightweight solution uh, compared with the log stage. No additional overhead in the managing the cluster separately. And also this solution, ingest pipeline solution is reduction, uh, is a reduction in structural complexity. Yes, ingest pipeline have some benefits, but also has some limitations too. Here are some of them. Uh, the first limitation but, uh, what I see is inability to split the document into multiple documents. There's an open issue uh, on the Elasticsearch for, for this now. Another uh, limitation is, due, this is not like a limitation, but this is something like a challenges. Due to the nature of the ingest pipeline, there, there may be challenges when processing multiple documents simultaneously. In fact, there is a solution for, uh, for this one and rich processor, but using uh, you need to do some challenging things for, for using it. So after talked about the different implementation for data modification, let's dive into the ingest pipeline a little bit more to understand the, our uh, problem uh, first. Uh, the problem is we are trying to uh, direct the documents. We are trying to do, uh, route the documents to specific indexes based on the certain logic. And uh, also this logic also can change uh, time by time. And also we need to be do these changes in central location. Preventing, uh, we need to prevent uh, indexing documents into wrong index because of the missing configuration. So as you can see on the right, we want to do this uh, on the top right, we want to uh, uh, create uh, 
um, we, we want to index this document into the books that 2022.11 uh, index. So we prefer using the ingest pipeline as, as I mentioned before. And uh, we don't want to put the logic into, into our microservice or logstash in instances to make it easy reachable uh, by the data team. So let's, uh, let's implement the ingest pipeline. Elasticsearch provides an endpoint as ingest slash pipeline. Uh, and we will use this endpoint to create the pipeline. You can describe a description for the pipelines also to, uh, for, to, to, to mention about what is, what is the purpose of this ingest pipeline. Then, uh, sorry, then uh, you need to set, the, uh, set an array of processes for the pipeline. First processor in our case, first processor is the date processor and we are fetching a field of the document. Uh, so uh, create that field of the documents from the source. And after parsing it, we are, we are filling an, another field as index suffix with the formatted version of this date. As you can see here, output format is year and month. Then we are putting the index name uh, uh, into our underscore index field. As you can see, right, you can see here, there was index suffix and we are putting this index suffix field into the uh, underscore index as a suffix of the, of the books. Lastly, we are removing our temporary field as index suffix, mentioned as index suffix in here. You can see the index suffix field, then we are removing it to clear unnecessary temporary field. Uh, we, can use, we can see the full pipeline on the left side here. There are three different processors. And uh, also you can use the ingest pipeline, ingest slash pipeline slash simulate endpoint to test your pipeline with the sample documents. Uh, as you can see on the right side, uh, there's an, uh, we are indexing document as a books here, index books. And there's a created head field here. And we are indexing the documents with the new index name here on the right side, books 2022.09. This means that the, the index pipeline, our pipeline is working very well with the correct index name. So let's test with the ing ing uh, ingestion directly, I mean, with the pipeline. Uh, in here, we are creating a new document here but we are using the books index for, for uh, indexing document here you can see, but uh, we are using also a pipeline change index according to the created that we created this pipeline in previous um, uh, slides. So as you can see here, create, uh, according to the created that field, we are create, uh, in, uh, indexing the document into the books that 2022.11 indexes. Uh, after all this index, uh, indexing operation, there will be different books, indexes, according to the uh, created field of the documents. Uh, so, all, uh, um, Elasticsearch have a short way instead of using the three processor in here. There is an, uh, you can use uh, just only one processor as date index name to solve the problem too. In our scenario, we had multiple other processors and also these processors. I just want to give you a quick look uh, for how much the ingest pipeline flexible for different problems. So what is the possible problems for, for, the, for this solution? I need to mention these problems also to you to clear, uh, the, clear our scenario. The first problem we have, we had to force all clients to use ingest pipeline. Somehow some of them can forget using pipeline and all the documents can save into the wrong index indexes. So we need to force them for indices. Uh, while creating index, uh, we can use the default pipeline uh, to force uh, for, for this purpose. This makes the pipeline to use every ingestion for these indexes. Uh, another problem I need to mention uh, while using these type of solutions, we need to be aware that index lifecycle um, uh, policies uh, can be affected according to the, our solution. 
the index documents can change subsequently, uh, subsequent months, and the index content may not be immutable. Index lifecycle management, management and backup policies should be designed to uh, accommodate this dynamic index scenario. As a result, there are various uh, solution and each uh, solution has uh, own validity. The ingest pipeline solution provided uh, convenience, but uh, both, both in the testing phase and development phase for us. The ingest pipeline also gave us an opportunity to build easier, easier architecture than the other solution. And thank you very much for listening to me.